What are you doing, bro? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about some protests outside of a New York courtroom where Trump was expected to be arrested. Now, of course, Trump did not get arrested yesterday. And today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. He didn't get arrested, might not get arrested. Don't know. We'll talk about that at a different time. However, people were out there anticipating a possible arrest, both Trump supporters People that did not like Trump, Trump protesters, they were all out there. And it was an interesting cast of characters. And I have said on this channel, don't go protest because you're going to run into some weirdos and some nut jobs and some rabble rousers and some people that are disguised as Trump supporters that are not who are going to try to get you in trouble. The same exact thing that happened on January 6th. Now, there was not any kind of real incident yesterday. But there was at least one very interesting character that I want to show you guys as an example of exactly what I was talking about. These fake people out here trying to get you in trouble. Now, if you want to see this clip right here in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio and go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Bro, you look stupid doing this, bro. Stop doing this, bro. What are you this doing? is my religion, sir. Bro, you're a Trump supporter, bro. We don't do that. You're looking real crazy. What do you right mean now, we bro? don't do that? Who are like, you to say what Trump supporters do and bro, do I'm not a Trump, do? I'm, bro, I'm for Trump, bro. I'm letting you know. I know, like, but we have ranking. In this, bro. What are you doing? Bro? What do you mean? Am I going? We have ranking. Like I think both of these guys are like putting on a, a, an act, and I, I feel like every time I see things like this, it could be a social experiment, it, and this one could be whose side are you going to be on, and they both could be actors. This guy right here is clearly an actor, in my humble opinion. This guy right here might not necessarily be um, one of, quote unquote, our guys either. Ranking? There's there's rankings among Trump supporters? Come on. And outside the bounds. Oh, well, you're acting crazy, bro. Of what? Like, oh, what are you screaming for? Everybody bro? calls this crazy, oh, sir. No, I'm saying no, you're, no, like you're no, I think I think you're a Democrat, bro. Like I think everybody calls this crazy. I don't think you're for Trump, bro. I don't think you're for Trump, bro. You're not for Trump, bro. You're a liar, bro. You're a scam artist, bro. This man is not for Trump, bro. Who are you to say who I support? Who are you to say who I support? No, bro. The way you're acting, I've been rejected by every single. The way you're acting, we don't act like that. We don't act like we don't do that. I've been rejected by every single community of people that I've been a part of, and even in the Trump supporter community. Is he crying now? Really? I mean, this is this is ridiculous. I mean, come on. This whole thing, this whole thing, is absolutely ridiculous. Come on, crying, talking about some. I've been rejected from every community I try to be part of, and then I'm now now I'm part of the Trump supported community, and now I'm being rejected again. And he's crying. I don't see one tear. I just see a scrunched up face and a little bit of a voice change. Even I guess I was picked on and made fun of so much growing up, and, and then I finally feel like I find a community of people that loves me. You yes, I belong. You love Trump? Yes, I love Trump. That's why I'm here. That's why I put all this stuff. I had to check. I had to pull your car, man. Because it okay. seemed like you were like acting like, like you wasn't for Trump. If you're for Trump, then I believe it. Don't reject me. I've been so rejected everywhere else. Trump. I'll reject you if you're not for Trump. I'll reject you. The Trump supporters are the only community that accepted me. Come on, man. Like the acting, the acting right there was terrible. The guy, this, this, um, you know, great value brand, like, MAGA shaming guy, th this guy is clearly not real, but I'm not really sure about this guy right here that he was talking to the guy that I was calling him out. I'm not really sure about him. Now I can't prove what I'm saying, but I'm just a casual observer. I was not there in New York where this was filmed. I don't know these guys, never seen them before a day in my life until right now when I'm watching this video. But as a casual supporter, as a guy that doesn't know anything, obviously something is not adding up, okay? And if it's not adding up, if it's not making sense, there's probably some lies going on. This guy over here on the right-hand side with the cape and the fur on and, all, and the face paint, clearly bogus in my opinion, but the other guy, like I said, might not be too legitimate himself. The point I was making before this video 
and during this video and right now is that when you go out there and so-called protest for Trump, especially, you're going to get a lot of fake people that are out there for different reasons. They're not out there for Trump or for the country or anything, any kind of, you know, good reason, any kind of legitimate reason. They're out there for their own purposes. They're out there to make everybody look bad. They're out there to cause problems like your rate Epps of the world. They're out there to incite trouble, violence, just general mischief. These kind of people you want to stay far away from. And I've been seeing guys like this for quite a while, actually, even before January 6th. That's why I didn't even go to D.C. at all on January 6th. I was invited. People were asking me that I want to go. I was getting a lot of invites, but I was automatically just skeptical because I knew that it was one of those open events where everybody was going to be and you're going to have people like that that are in there. You know, I prefer some of the more uh, invite only type things. Before January 6th, I was in D.C. in what was that, October or November of 2020? Again, way before J6. I was in D.C. for a Blexit event where we had a march of like 2,000 people. But see, it was an invite-only type thing. You had to know somebody to know somebody to get in. It wasn't a bunch of people that were in there that shouldn't be in there. And even sometimes as I close, even sometimes in the invite-only events, you're going to get miscreants, rabble rousers, spies, and all kind of other stuff. So it's hard to keep these things from spiraling out of control or from people that are it's hard to keep people out that shouldn't be there when it's just open to the public. So when they say, okay, we're going to arrest Trump and it's going to be at this place. And then Trump says, okay, go out there and protest. And people already want to protest. Anyway, you're going to attract all kinds of people. You're going to attract a little bit of everybody. And you don't want that going on because if you're there and you mean good, there's going to be other guys who are there that don't mean good. And when y'all clash, now you have J six part two, three, four, et cetera. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what you just saw right there? Do you think that one of those guys was an actor? How about both of those guys? How about more? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I think, obviously, the one guy with all the stuff on was clear, clearly an actor. Again, that's just my humble opinion. I can't say that for certain. I'm just a casual observer. But the other guy was kind of suspicious himself, talking about, oh, well, we got ranks among Trump supporters and it was like they were performing a skit right in front of us, making it look like it was real. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my skeptical brain because I see so much fake stuff out there. So, so much. It's just to the point now where I'm skeptical about any and everything. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. And subscribe. Peace.